took care of one wound. One wound down? No. Alright. And then, Greg, are you just gonna take bone dust and yeah. Greg, <laughs> pretend like you're not? Yep. Alright. How long does that last? An hour. Alright, better give me better give me two hits. Alright, here you go. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna be addicted to drugs after this. <laughs> That's a problem for tomorrow. That's tomorrow. You won't probably. be addicted to anything if you die in the next. Right. If I, if I am addicted to drugs, that means I've lived. So that is a win. <laughs> Anna, Annabelle has proved herself to be very good at at rehab. So, yeah, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, psychotherapy. Okay. All right. So you guys are healed and drugged up. One wound and ready to d descend into the belly of the planet. Yep. Yeah. And drugged up. Um, and while we're doing that, I'm going to be spending three actions trying to cover as much of the vital areas in a heat shield as I can of the ship. Okay. Yep. So, so how we're going to do this is it's it's going to be a dramatic task. Uh, you can use whatever skills are relevant that you can justify as being relevant. Um, whoever wants to participate. And uh, it's just crashing. All of yeah, so I mean, obviously, piloting can help. Um, other ship related skills can help. Siren, you can use your spirit to get the thermal shielding thing. What's what's the main yeah. threat to the ship? Uh, crashing into things or melting or both. Okay. I'll man the turrets to try to shoot away uh, things in the way. All right, yeah. Basically, you're trying to, uh, like, gun it as fast as you can down a tight tuvel tunnel that is, like, super hot. Right, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll blast chunks of rock out of the way with the All turret. Right. So you're man in the turret. Um, what about Greg? Are you going to participate? Yeah, I got... Uh... Oh, I guess I shouldn't have rolled yet, but yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't roll yet, just... Okay. Well then, fuck. Then I would do gunning as well, because I don't think I can do that well again on piloting. Uh, you only have one turret. Oh. Actually, why don't you take the turret? I'm gonna use formal physics to, to try and, like, plot angles we can go around. Alright. <laughs> so who's gonna go around? I think you're... Better a little. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so that's four of you. Um, and then, so. Uh, Gene can either participate or he can lend three bennies to you, up to three bennies to you. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> no, we need someone else with get with Gizmo piloting, right? Yeah, that would be his participation. Yeah, he should participate. Yeah, he should fly the damn ship. He he's an equal. He participates. All right. Um. So in that case, you guys, it, you need twenty successes in five rounds to succeed in this task. Um, so, and all your all your rolls, it's just your base roll, but at minus two. But at minus two. Yep. I will roll for Gene. So five rolls. Count the number of successes. Uh, do do a one roll at a time. So okay. do a round of rolls and then add up all your and raises. How many rounds was it? Five. So if you if you average a success per round, that's enough. And a, a, is a crit fail minus one? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> How are we doing, Annabelle? Is there is there a reason why? Uh, my second roll may or may not have been a crit fail. I, I give some real bad advice on some of the physics of a rock falling into the windshield. <laughs> okay, so well, first roll. First roll. Oh, that was my second roll. Sorry. My first roll, I got a 10. All right, so that's two. 
I got I got a uh, seven with the minor two. All right, so that's one. Uh, what Greg get? Uh, I got a. Uh, oh, of course, I got eleven for shooting. Wait, did you say a minus two? Yep. Yep. So a nine. All right, that's two successes, and then Gene got uh, one success. The the piloting. Um, is that was the first round, so that brings you up to six successes total. Is Gizmo participating? Gizmo is is part of Gene. Okay. Gene Gene is bossing Gizmo around. Um, all right. So then does the second Gene, round. Wait, wait. Does Gizmo call Gene captain? Um, Gizmo does not acknowledge Gene. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not cold he just, shoulder. He huh? just like. No, he, like you presumably Gene gives direct commands to like Gizmo non-verbally. <laughs> Just pretty much hacks Gizmo. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So then the second round. I, I, like I said, I, I got a crit fail. Yep. So that's minus one. I got a very good success. <laughs> so Annabelle's like, "No, we gotta turn this way." And Gene says, "That is incorrect, Annabelle." Mm, yeah. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, what are you talking about? I oh wait, my no, I only got. A Three. Ah, uh, shit. You got a three? Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for my Benny tell later on. Okay. So, and then Gene got a raise, so that's plus two. Yeah, Dean, cover my eyes. And, uh, what'd Greg get? Six. Six? Okay, so that's another success. So you're at eight. You're a little bit behind, I think. Yeah, whatever. That is rough. No, no, I think you're, you're doing all right. Is four. Uh, yeah. That's stable. We need four per round, right? Yep. So you're your average. Or right stand steady. Right on track. All right, round three. Is that uh, average? average. Is there minus anyway? There we go. Nine. Minus, minus two. Okay, okay. It's always. Just always, always minus two. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was getting worse, sir. Okay. okay I got a four. Sorry, I got a nine. And H up here. All right, so four plus one, nine plus two, uh, got a six plus one, and then what Greg get? Eight. Okay, plus two, that was a good one. So that uh, brings you up to 14 on round three. So we need six in two rounds? Round four, yep. All right, we got this. Uh, oh yeah, seven. I got four. Uh, six. All right, so Annabelle got a four. Yep. Uh, Siren got a six. That's yep. plus two. Uh, what did Greg get? Seven. Seven? Okay, so that's plus one. And then Gene also got a six. So you're at 18 out of 20 with the last round. Okay. All right, let's do it all right. I got a four. Four. Six again. Okay. And Gene got a three. But you have enough. That Yay. 21 successes at round By six. one. Well done, everyone. So you navigate down through this. It, it takes... dramatic. Yeah, it takes a little bit <laughs> uh, of just, like, going through. There's several parts where you're, like, scrapes through, quite literally. Um, what the, is the Silas gap. doing? Silas is just... Same thing. Yep, yeah. there you go. <laughs> He's getting ready to fight. He's helping, guys. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so you, you scrape through, and at the last uh, point, um, you you get to the, the end of the ventilation shaft to the actual heat sink, uh, which is a physical object, and uh, the uh, Gene says, uh, we will have to go through it and hope that the shield holds. Floor it! Unless, and unless it. Gregory can destroy it with the gun. You got it, Gregory. What gun? What am I? What am so, I? You're you're approaching the end of your your run, and the mm -hmm. like the main heat, heat sink is in the way. Oh. Uh, I so shoot make, it with the. Yep. Shoot it with the particle rifle. Got it. Particle accelerator. And I'm like, oh, I, I hear you. It is shooting All right. time. So, yeah, make a shooting roll. Nine. Minus two? Uh, no penalty. Okay. This time it's just oh, straight. 
damn it. That's why I was not. That's why I didn't care about your minus two of the first shot because I have a plus two. Oh. <laughs> so all no, all those were all, all those were a little better. Uh, like my my uh, seven still... and my six, you know, whatever. Uh, nine total. Okay. Uh, so that hits with a raise. So that's three d eight plus two d six plus two. Wait. Sorry. Sorry. Say it again. Three d eight and two d six. And two d six plus two. Okay. Three d eight and two d six. And then plus two d hundreds. Plus two damage. Oh. Okay. Single points. <laughs> All right. An eight blew up. Starting. This is a bunch of. This is a bunch of noise. Okay. That's six. 10, 25 starting with it blowing up 8. Uh, for 29, plus 2, 31. Okay. AP5, that is enough that you can get through without uh, ah! the, uh, Freedom Chaser significantly. Go, 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 go. So you, you weaken it up and then the chip just smashes through the, uh, the like weakened like hot metal. And uh, you come out into the bottom of the lift shaft, very bottom, just like this blank sort of concrete walls and a uh, giant, like massive towering tunnel, uh, 200 feet wide that goes up into the darkness above you. And you see a couple of like bridges and like elevator, like doors and like walkways sort of spiraling around above you. Um, so. If you look down, I'm going to reveal a part of the map here. Can you guys see that? It's kind yep. of in the middle of nowhere. Yep. All right, so you guys are there. Let's bring the freedom chaser down. Ooh. And you're, you have made it into the facility. Woo! We're in. We're in, fellas. Is it, is it still, like, hot around here? Um, it's warm, but it's not, it's not, like, you would be very uncomfortable if you were hanging out here just, oh, like, back. without your armor or anything. Okay. But it's to the point where, like, your ship is fine. And, uh, you're obviously fine inside, and you'd be fine in your power armor outside. So these tunnels, are they like big enough the ship can fly through? Are we talking like Matrix Nebuchadnezzar going through the pipes or? Well, so this right here, like you came down from this way through the like the heat sink thing uh -huh. and just like blasted through that. And then this big tunnel shaft is, is 200 feet wide. So, okay. so yeah, yeah, the Freedom good. Chaser can fly through it without, with plenty of wiggle room. But it's a security checkpoint, apparently. Yes. I... That is written there. <laughs> uh, well, that is written there, and you can tell it is because you can see that there are uh, what seem to be, like, mounted turrets uh, around the edge of the uh, place. Actually, here, if you look down a little bit, like, if you just scrolling down further yep. uh, is part of floor six here. So there seems to be four turrets of some kind, automated turrets up there, which are oh. not, you're not in range of right now because for some reason they're not set up to shoot things at the bottom of the base. <laughs> and then they're not set up right. That was their <laughs> mistake. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they should have expected Events. <laughs> they know. They, they. I thought they studied us. The next twenty years is a complete overhaul of GenTech, just securing the vents. <laughs> they didn't do their homework well enough, obviously. All right, so you guys are in. Um, I was uh, I might need to get going uh, soonish, like okay. 15, 15 minutes or so. Yeah, that's fine. We're planning at to end at six anyways so okay we'll probably so, i just want to let you know like you know if, yeah just if there's a good stopping point go set, set up the situation down here and then yep. wait all so right is, we're in 
So would we fly up to get to this area then? Yes. Uh, yeah. This this is a like a cross sectional view of the base. Oh, gotcha. And okay. then the one down here is a top down view. Yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, I, didn't, I didn't specify that. Do these turrets look yeah. like they can aim at a decline? They are on a platform, so no. They they can aim level with this floor and up, but not down. Okay. Well, that's nice for us. This is a pretty weird vector to attack their base at. Yeah. It is. But it'll work. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, from from Gene's uh, like and the Freedom Chaser's sensor calculations, you are approximately ten miles below the surface at this point. Oh. Whew. We're down here. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Well, should we fly up to just below the guns and then we can jump back up there to deal with them or that's my idea at least yeah all right all right jane take us up nice and slow yeah you guys oh and i mean also you know you exploded through the wall so it's it's can be assumed that they probably know something's up down here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they would think that. They'd be fools. Like, it seems that one of our heat sinks has exploded. Interesting. <laughs> and there's a battle going up. <laughs> They're completely unrelated. Oh, what's this? There's, just... A, there's just a ship flying up our... Uh... <laughs> just send maintenance. All right, send right. maintenance. Just send maintenance. It's unrelated. Rise up to below the turret level. Yep. Do we just want to like send some teams to like? Is there is there like a walkway or like? Yeah. So if you look down at the the top down view, yeah, there is there's a walkway that goes like out here and out here, and it looks like there's two doors on either side of the uh, the tunnel shaft that go into like side facilities or rooms. Okay. Okay. So you could, you could just do, like deploy your, your uh, your robots to do, to fight stuff here. Assemble the robots. Um, <laughs> the turrets would probably you probably want to take those out because they're going to really mess up the the robots. You can't really what? have a good uh, choke point. What is what are the the turrets on? Like what are their what's their platform? They're on drugs. Uh, they're on uh, like a reinforced sort of steel, uh, like uh, balcony, I guess. Can we just shoot it with the freedom chaser from below? Uh, it would take a bit of time, but yeah, you could do that. It's either that or you send people to go disable them, right? Or do we want to fly up into their their line of shot and then just? Shoot at them then. You could try and just duke it out with them. Uh, what if... Can we get, like, right underneath the platform? Like, yeah. right underneath where the gun is? Like, if I had someone jump... If I jump packed over there, could I get, like, right below the gun? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, let yeah, me... Take a little bit of finagling, but you could. Let me send out some clones, and we'll get right underneath the guns and just put breach rounds above them, or below them. Um, also, uh, I almost forgot, uh, since you guys did the vent shaft thing, uh, the battle has progressed above, so somebody roll a d100 fleet. Not me. I'll do it. Got it. Oh boy. Hold on, I'm rolling a different set though, so. Why don't you shoot for below 60? Below 60. 87. Damn it. Ah, all right. That's another mark on the, the defeat progress. You're Damn. even. I was so we move to the defensive? Yeah, probably. Oh, okay, okay. Don't worry. I had a 67. I rolled for fun. <laughs> so all right. I Switch to defensive. Too. Well, I mean... 
I guess I would minus the defeat track. I'll draw then we could move back to... Do, do we need to win the battle? Is that something that we need to do? It would help, but it's not necessary. How would it? Just like with our retreat? I mean, yeah, it would help with your retreat. Because if there's still a battle going on as you're like trying to to escape the facility, uh, then that makes things more complicated, pretty much. I mean, we could stick it out with yeah. balanced again. All right, I'm sticking out to that. And then the primary lift shaft is secure at the top level. Yeah. The pirates and the gladiators have taken... Can the we have them start descending? Uh, yeah. Uh, they, they report uh, there is a pretty heavy blast door on the top. They are going to have a hard time breaking through it. I mean, they'll, they'll do it eventually, but... I mean, like, I think... Unless you, goal, in, you could get into the network and open it for them. That would expedite the process. Right. My goal is just to maybe eventually have reinforcement right, right. coming from behind. Yeah, so they're going to try and start blasting it to shit. Uh, don't they have, like, a hacker kit on their side? Um, no. The pirates? Or did they not send them with the... Uh... At least none... Oh, they do have a Decker, but no, he's not on the field. Okay. Also, he's probably not good enough to deal with this facility. I I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'm good enough to deal with this facility. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I'm going to try to avoid having to do any, relying on any sort of hacking. But we'll see. <laughs> um, okay, so regarding the uh, the battle down here. Uh, you're going to try and get an Annabelle underneath the turrets and yep. then blow them up with uh, breach charges? Yep. Alright. Uh, I would say for that, you have three Annabelles. Just have them each make an athletics roll to try and get under there. Okay. And a Greg. Ooh, have a Greg clone. Greg could do it, yeah, if you wanted to. Yep. Actually, it'd be pretty easy for Greg. You can just teleport out from the ship. 11, 11, and 6. And what am I... Is this going to be a teleport uh, roll? Or? It's still be an athletics roll. Oh, athletics roll. The main thing is just planting the explosives in the right place and doing some, like, climbing. 7. Okay. So, you guys... Brief plan. You coordinate, and the Annabelles hop out of the airlock, jet up to the, uh, the sides as the Freedom Chaser does, like, you know, a, a little circle around just below. And then Greg teleports out at the end, and uh, then they they plant the explosives and and poof. Yep. Um, all right. So roll damage for all those. Sixty ten again. It's it's three d ten. They're individual. Oh. Sure. Eighteen AP ten. We're not doing as a big. Uh, ten AP ten. And 21 AP-10. 16 AP-10? Wait, is, is AP-10? Jesus, 16 then. Yep. 16 AP-10. Okay, uh, so all of them but one were destroyed. And then that one you could pretty easily destroy with the uh, Freedom Chasers guns. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Pop up and shoot it. Yeah, so you, you like boom, 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 and the, the turrets are blasted, and uh, you sort of rise up. Um, and shoot the last one with the Freedom Chasers guns. Uh, okay. the, there are um, like uh, facility personnel that seem to be like starting to come out of the, uh, the doorways and stuff, and they're returning fire. Currently, nobody with anti-vehicle weapons. So um, good luck. Shoot them, Greg. But okay. They are I got a ten. Uh, do you do you want to engage these guys and try and? like secure this floor or do you want to you can leave the robots to you can leave it. the robots to do it yeah you could do it yourself with the robots or you could just fly by and ignore them and have to deal with people filtering up like robots yeah robots yep. okay 
But not Silas, right? Just robots? Just just robots. Just robots. We'll, have, we'll, we'll save Silas for another. All right, so the robots are down there. They'll have a 60% chance of success fighting there. Um, as you move further up, are you, do you want to do anything on this floor other than just drop off your strike force and lay down some suppressive fire? I don't think so. No. Okay. Um, all right. So then in that case, yeah. Yeah. drop off, go up. Uh, that would, yeah, we'll say that sort of section uh, is a turn for the, the space battle above. Um, There's no one else. So somebody, first off, somebody roll a d100 for the people trying to breach the blast doors. Just lower is better for that. 42. I'll do, I'll do that one. I got it, 42. Okay. Okay, so they're making progress, and then another one, 60% or below. Uh, Alright. Come on. 30! Yeah! yeah. Right. Plus one victory. Huzzah! The, the first success, you guys. Well, <laughs> Well, I mean, right. you killed the Admiral. Yeah, you killed the Admiral. Well, that's the first oh, time yeah, you actually succeeded true. at the 60%. Uh, do you want to uh, keep with the same stance or change it? Uh, probably stick with it. All right. I mean, uh, on success... Oh, geez. On a success, you get plus two defeat anyways on an offensive thing. Yeah. yeah. It's just full-on <laughs> maximum defense. <laughs> but it's plus three... Progress. One more balanced. Yeah. If you win that, you would you could win with heavy casualties. Yeah. All right. Uh, so heading further up, you drop off the strike force. You hear sounds of gunfire and and conflict there, and move up to floor five. Uh, so this one is doesn't have any like security on the outside uh they're just they're uh four flat is also just below this um there is two very heavy duty looking blast doors on either side of the uh the tunnel and just like a little catwalk that walk goes around to access both of them that's probably the one right yeah probably Check out that one. Um, there there are two on either side. Oh oh, two bl two blast doors. Yep. Can we shoot one down uh, again? I would say, like, just looking at the doors, they're probably labeled. Nobody, they're not going to care about not labeled things down there. So one of the blast doors says uh, Xeno Containment Vault, and the other one says Subject Storage Units. Oh, sure. So there are them. Seems like what we're after. I think so. Um, which one are you going want to go for first? And how are you going to go about it? We had Xeno containment and subject storage. Yeah, here I'll just I'll reveal the map. There. Subject storage units and Xeno containment vault. Uh, I don't know which one is which or what either of those are. I'm guessing the subject storage unit is where the morphers are, right? But what about the Xeno containment vault? That's probably the cataclysm. I mean, what if the, they're containing the morphers? I mean, that I guess would be Xeno containment, yes. Just cryptic, cryptic enough that they know what it is, but you guys are not sure. Well, Greg, what do you think? Mm, what do I think? Can I do corporate? <laughs> um, I mean... Corporate speak? No, that's fine. Uh, I think... Uh, like it's mostly just subject, a guess. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. More information. 
subject storage units. See no containment vault. Yeah, I think I think uh, Sirens got it. They're storing subjects. They, well, it might. It well, might it might be like subjects is like you know where they're like doing the experiments and then the containment is where they just have them till they need them till they come get them. You know containment in the vault is their their cells, subject storage units maybe is where they're keeping active things going. So even if we knew, what would the plan be? I don't know. Because we're not going to be able to carry all of the all of up in our ship. Are oh, uh, should mention this this. Giant shaft is an elevator shaft. Uh, there is like a, on each level, there's this sort of structure that has like a, these sort of like grav rails and like a sort of iris type circle in the middle, uh, designed to presumably like sort of unfurl uh, to make a platform to like carry large quantities of things up and down the shaft. So, like, so let's just pick one at random then. Mm -hmm. Let's go with that. I think that's a good All one. Right. We're going with the Xeno Containment Vault. Boom. Xeno Containment Vault? Alright. Uh, how are you going to get through this blaster? Just blow it to shit? Or. The explosives? Or teleport through it? Or. I mean, it, I could easily teleport the two of you. Or is Silas with us? Silas is around, yeah. All right, it's still I could still I could still do that. How big are these? Bla is this like ship size blast doors? Uh, they're they're large. It's probably about from the outside like maybe twenty feet wide. So big, but not big enough for the freedom chaser to fly through. You'd have to leave your ship up in the passageway here. So I mean, we're, we're shooting the door, right? Okay. Is that what you're doing? Just blast it. Yeah. Okay. Is there any reason not to? I don't know. I got a four. Oh, six to shoot the door. Okay. If if you're just shooting it, uh, that's you don't have to roll for everyone. It is going to take a continuous bombardment of shots <laughs> to, to blow through it. Well, what if you just like blast a hole in it big enough for us to squeeze through? Uh, that would take a bit less time. Yeah. That's what I'm I mean, saying. He just teleports yeah, through. Like melt the hole through. And then tell him to start doing it on the other door, too. It'll it'll still take probably like a, like a minute or two at that. Hey, why don't we just teleport? And then they can shoot the door while we're... And then the door is still operational if we need it later. Okay. Teleporting into the... Pass the blast door into the Xeno containment wall. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. I'm, All right. Gonna, I'm gonna go by myself just to get the penalties gone. And then I'll be back. Get a a view. Yep. Uh, how far to, are you teleporting? Uh, how far do I? How far were the last blast doors? Like ten feet. The uh, what do you mean the last Six. blast door? How thick were the Thickness, uh, Yeah. All right. I so mean, these are significantly bigger than the ones in the ship. All right, I'll go 25 then. Okay. And I got a four. Just made it. All right. You okay. teleport through. I'm glad I you are in one. a a very large like de decontamination airlock. Okay. Um, so down here it's got a kind of like a triangle, and there are two other doors. Okay. They look like they have, um, like, uh, maybe some kind of electrified energy field across them. Okay, is there any so, way, like, a, like I said, a quick button to open those blast doors? There is a con command console, but it, it is not just on-off button. Alright, I roll computers real quick. Require some authorization. Oh, it is. Alright. Yep. Well, I got a four on computers. Four? Uh... To just try just and like see if it's a, if, I, if, if I can find the open door pro protocols. Uh, no. Okay. With, with the, you you are able to determine that it is it is like locked to an ID or 
so. Okay, then I teleport just... back on the other side, which oh. I don't need to roll for now, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, that being said, looking at this, oh, yeah. you could teleport to the other side of this, assuming that it's not super thick. Oh, okay. From the elevator shaft. All right. But can I, can I like, see in there, or is that... That's, you can't see past that's, there. That's a blind spot, too. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'll go back over. I will grab a siren with a four to get through, or a five, a five to get through, and drop him off here. <laughs> In the airlock? Yeah. Okay. There. There's some stuff, panels and shit. I'm going to go grab Annabelle. I guess I'll probe it to see what the security level is. Probably like 23 or something like that. Uh, 12. 12. All right, and then I grab Annabelle with a six. A six? Yep. Okay. So you, Annabelle and Siren and Greg all inside. Ooh, that's really small. It's pretty big, actually. Oh, okay, okay. It's not. This ball it's... is is a hundred feet. Oh, Lee balls. And and this is fifty feet. Okay. So there's plenty of room. Yeah, this is this is uh fifty foot squares. I see. I get it. Okay. All right. Well. All right. Um, I should get going. Yeah. So that's a good enough place to leave it. Uh, We're all in here. You guys have entered into the the first security layer of the Xeno, the Xeno uh, containment vault. Nice. You're, as the battle rages on above, see what you can accomplish down here. Hello. Hells, yes. Uh, what are you guys at for XP? 50, no, 90. 97. 97? That's the one. All right. We'll do 3 XP to get you to 100 XP for what will probably be the last session. Oh my god. I don't even know what a legendary edge is. It doesn't matter. Like, none of mine matter. I'm not... <laughs> none well, of mine. giving you the option to get another one more legendary edge. Oh, oh. I figure out one that's fun to get. Should I get improved tactician? <laughs> it doubles your likelihood of it being useful. It does. I feel like one time it was kind of useful. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I gotta think about that oh. one. <laughs> cool, cool. So, yeah, good game. Hopefully, I'll, I'll have to, before we plan another game, I'll we'll text Austin to see if there's any day possible that he can play. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Yeah. So we'd like to see if we can get him for the end to this campaign.